Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am loving the greenery behind me. It reminds me of someone's channel. I can't remember her name. Rachel August? I can't remember her name. Anyway, I might link her. I'll link her channel down below. I love her and she always has a lot of plants. It's not the most aesthetic background, but once I get my own house, then it'll be different. But until then, we're just going to be plodding around my house and trying to find different backgrounds. So, enjoy. <laughs> So today we're going to be talking about becoming our future selves today because that is the most important thing and I feel like yes we need to enjoy today but we also need to be preparing ourselves for our future selves and preparing us does that make sense I don't know but I want to talk about becoming our future self and this is something I have been working on for years and I know in my last video I did talk about oh I'm not trying to say I have been working on this for so long but I've taken myself from rock bottom and I feel like I just about got my head above water and there is a whole load more to go so I've been there I've done that I've experienced it so we're just going to talk about it I have been through a lot in life and I'm not here saying oh woes me or oh I need to sympathy but in, in reality I acknowledge the fact that I've been through a lot and I'm not here to say oh I've gone through so much so I deserve a break and I mean I do deserve a break but I'm not using it as an excuse to not being a better version of myself in fact I'm using it as motivation to be the better version of me and I think a huge part of why I have the levels of confidence in some aspects and and is also why I have such drive to do things in life it's because I don't want to be back where I was and don't get me wrong sometimes I just want to give up and I'm just like I can't do this anymore I've had enough I'm over it I'm done I, I'm finished I can't do this but then I realize actually no, you can do this you're doing very well and you're slowly becoming the version of you that you've always wanted to become so in order to do this I think a lot of it has come from manifestation, visualising who I want to be, how I want to get there. I've literally scripted it and I've scripted and it's not obviously come through overnight and I know a lot of people say I manifested it one day and then the next day it came true. No, this has been a work in progress for years and I still break at least once a week i still have absolute meltdowns obviously i do stuff with mental illness as well so that is just the icing on the cake but i am not someone who is going to be like well i've got mental illness so i can just allow myself to be shit i am using it so that i can continue to grow and develop and be like so this is the issue and this is the reason be behind it how can we use it to move forward not oh, make you thirsty so no nothing that you write down necessarily will come true in the way you write it but it will guide your manifestations in a way with what's going to be beneficial for you in the long run and i know it sounds counterintuitive or counterproductive but at the same time at the same time you want to write down how you see your future because you may see your future married with two kids and a beautiful house and it may be with a certain person but the universe will be like so in order for that to happen it's not going to be with this person it's not going to be in this part of london or in this part of the world you're actually going to get an opportunity to move to a different country where you're going to meet the love of your life where you're then going to have the beautiful house and kids there could all, always be a spanner in the works and in at that time it may be the most heartbreaking gut-wrenching thing where you think i just manifested something and everything is going bad actually it's preparing you for something better and not necessarily better in the universe's opinion but better for you in the long run like you know what they say when you make plan god laughs because god the universe whoever you believe in has a plan for you we weren't just put on this earth on a whim and it's something i have to remind myself every day but in order to get to these goals and get to 
the when you're scripting to get to these goals of yours you need to not not only write them down and rem have a very clear picture of what you expect in that not necessarily final but in that idea of I want to be this dream woman and I who am I going to be to have everything that I've ever wanted um, you need to write it down be very specific and very clear in what it is that you want in life I'm talking down to if you're manifesting a specific man you need to be specific about who he is what he looks like what he dresses like his personality how he makes you feel everything to a T and if it's your dream house how do you want your dream house to look how many bedrooms how many bathrooms what color is the wall what color is your bedroom what color is your closet do you have a separate closet do you have an ensuite do you have a garden do you have a driveway what to a t all these things to a t and then if you're working from home if you have a business if you're bit of a rich how are you making this money how are you becoming that you need to write everything down to a t and these things they can take a long time to write down they can they don't want to take five ten minutes i'm not saying you have to write it all down in one go you can take a portion every day journal it out journal as if you're writing about you and your future self because as you're writing it down you can then see what you need to then do the action you need to take in order to become her or him or whatever in order to become that version of you that future self as you're writing it down you can see so if i want to live in this house and i want this kind of job what do i need to do now do i need to change jobs i'm in do i need to fix my credit do i need to fix my lifestyle do i need to amend my financial incomings and incomings and outgoing that's it um what do i need to amend what do i need to fix what do i need to change and you can see all of this and then you're slowly getting there do you know what I mean? it's just slowly like these building blocks so you're writing it down and then taking bits and pieces and sometimes you've got to change the plan or you've got to change the formula you've got to change how it works because you've written it down realize what you're actually doing is different to what you need to be doing so taking that time to reevaluate even think about this is the way i want to dress do i want to be wearing raggedy ass clothes or do i want to actually put myself together every single day and be like you look cute today and you have a cute outfit on and it's not a problem because you're actually taking the action to step into your future self but okay i did that and every time you sit in your car you're envisioning your brand new car of whichever car it is that you want or every time you drive home even if you may not have your driveway you pull up as if you have a driveway and you go into your and you keep your room if you're living in your parents house like i am you're living you're treating yourself as if you live in in your home that you want to live in in the future or things that you're working towards and i understand not everyone believes in manifestation but i believe in manifestation so i'm gonna talk about it. i am someone who i Every time I sit in my car, I drive my car as if I'm driving the car that I ultimately want or the car that I'm dreaming of buying one day. I buy things for my home that I don't even live in. I don't even have offers for properties yet, but I'm buying things for a home that I know I'm going to live in and I know that the universe is going to be like, this is what you've always wanted, here you go. And don't get me wrong, there's always going to be turbulence. Well, this is life, this is reality. There's always going to be turbulence. There's always going to be things, and that's not what you manifested. You're like, I didn't want that. Why is it that in going to get a dream car, why did my car just completely break down? Why did someone completely rip off my car? What am I going to do next? Take that as an opportunity to realise, hang on this is universe telling me something better is coming it's coming and it may not be straight away it may not be even six months from the time you've written it down but every day you're becoming your better self and you are manifesting your future you are already living it remember you're already 
living your future life your future self your future every time you write it down and take small actions you're already living your future and this is the most important bit you need to stay focused every time life throws a spanner in the works or you feel like you don't know what you're doing stay focused take a minute reevaluate center in if you need to take a staycation to sit down and evaluate your life because i'm thinking i need to do that i need to book a hotel go in there write everything take a minute take yourself out of your environment and if you can't book a hotel take yourself to starbucks you don't have to buy anything in starbucks to sit in there go sit in a starbucks work on what you need to work on focus on what you are what you're trying to attain in life and we need to reevaluate whether that's every month, every three months, every six months. You're not going to ever be finished becoming your future self until you die. So keep going. And to be quite honest and quite frank with you, we don't always like doing that. We don't always like to be like, oh, I need to focus on becoming. No, sometimes we take a break. That's fine. Take holiday. Do what you want. Chill it's not always go 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 because if it was we'd all be burnt out you will get burnt out if you constantly keep trying to almost be a level of perfection that you have in your head and we're never going to get there we're never going to be a level of perfection we're going to be happy and content with where we're going and who we're becoming but if you keep it's like at anything in life if you do too much of it you're going to get burnt out so and remember take breaks it's okay because we're, we're not going anywhere. Obviously, people got to make money. I don't even know if the camera's picking up. Anyway. So, like, it's okay to take a minute. It's okay to take a break. I keep trying to explain this to my boyfriend. It's okay to take a break. I know you're not where you want to be. It's okay to chill. It's not, it's not a bad thing. Because I, I sure as hell take time for myself. Don't get me wrong. There are times I just sleep all day. People think I'm busy. Nope. I just post things I already have to post and it's because everything is done I just press okay I, I'm in bed all day I'm not doing anything I don't care fuck it my motto fuck it but at the same time you do need to make sure every few months you are taking a, an evaluation and re-evaluating your situation of am I have I made action have I taken the time to say I've I've got somewhere I'm doing actually really well and take those moments as well not only to focus on where you need to go but actually celebrate I just did that I'm doing well and I will always emphasis support celebrate yourself celebrate you and if you have a good core people around you they should be celebrating you too and if they're not good people around you you need to celebrate whether that's a dinner whether that's why am I running out of space? Anyway, I don't know why we stopped filming at 16 minutes, but why did we do that? Um, support, uh, celebrate yourself. Do that. You know what? I want to hear about your achievement. If you have no one to tell, you can write a comment. No, write a comment down below right now and what your achievements are. Or what you, in the last six months, what have you achieved? If you're a mum, have you just had a baby? Have you just taken care of your child? Have you read a book? Have you lost some weight? Have you been eating healthy? Have you been taking care of yourself? All of these are achievements. I've just been doing 12,000 steps a day. Achievements. I've lost weight, it's an achievement for me. What's your achievement? If you say nothing, you're lying. And that's where imposter syndrome came in. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. But guys, celebrate yourself, please. It's so super important. And I've had people be like, why are you celebrating for? Like, it's all that deep. Guys, I used to celebrate my period. I still celebrate my period, actually. TMI for all girls here, if we're not a woman, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I suffer with PCOS, and I don't get periods very often. So when I do get a period, I, I got a period, and literally I used to have friends around. We used to get prosecco, because like, that for me is an achievement. I got my period. Oh my god, that is exciting for me. And I know a lot of people may not agree, but for me, that is exciting. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, future, becoming your future self takes time. It takes dedication. It takes hard work. It takes a clear vision. It takes so much out of you. So 
you actually taking the time to celebrate yourself for all the hard work and dedication and time you've put into it small wins baby small wins i'm gonna end this episode here i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment subscribe you guys seem to have really been enjoying my content lately i really appreciate it we are trying to get fully monetized um keep obviously at this moment i'm not monetized yet but i know for a fact once i'm monetized guys we're gonna have a flipping celebration full on celebration like don't get me wrong don't get it twisted i love creating content and i feel like i want to go in that direction and create all this content for you guys so for me to then get monetized and make money from it obviously i make money through tiktok already but to do it through a platform like youtube and tiktok instagram you name it i find that as a huge achievement for me so I'm gonna celebrate and if you wanna join me then drop a comment down below. Drop a comment of the celebration balloons because we've gotta keep celebrating. Okay, thank you. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys. I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are i've been enjoying my content lately i've been enjoying filming i'm really excited for future content and things like that i really hope that you are learning a lot i really want to be able to educate you guys and well not even just teach you guys teach myself because we're all on this journey together as i keep saying i ain't perfect for no one i don't want to be why am i perfect who's perfect come on I've been sitting down for so long now, like over an hour, trying to film all this content. Um, just because I want stuff, for, just so I have stuff for you, to go out for you guys, because I don't want to be slacking. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about a bit of a strange concept today. Um, as you know, I'm in a relationship, and I'm not talking about my relationship per se. I'm not talking about my bum. I don't know how long I'm going to film this video anyway so i'm in a relationship and i've been in a relationship for almost three years now and i'm very happy very i love my relationship i love my man don't get me wrong but i also think it's very important to not lose yourself in a relationship not only lose yourself but fuck this is gonna be an interesting video to film now not only lose yourself but you can't surround your entire identity around a man fuck's sake oh, hang on i'm gonna stop Okay, I'm gonna have to restart this video because <laughs> it got a bit difficult. So, as I was saying, I am in a relationship and fuck's sake, uh, sick and tired of this shit. And I've been in a relationship, committed relationship now for nearly three years and I love our dynamic, don't get me wrong. It is absolutely nothing we can't talk about. However, something that everyone else has a problem with or questions and i think it's not necessarily common is i solo travel i go on solo dates and i treat myself like a queen because even though my man treats me well and treats me like a queen and we go on dates and stuff and we do all of those stuff together i still do it by myself because there is only so much your partner can do hear this out unless he is god's gift on this earth and is taking you out every single day and buying you flowers and all of that stuff every day there are going to be times where especially if you're like me and i don't live with my partner there are going to be times we're not together we're not spending time together because we don't live together and it's not always easy with our work schedule so we're not always together so the times where we're not together is when i date myself if that's the way you want to put it i find it amazing and i know a lot of people don't get it and i know a lot of people be like what do you mean you can go to a different country without your man yes guys i can go to a different country without my man it is fine and i think that shows a lot of trust if your man cannot trust you to go to a different country without him where's the trust because I've been to now five countries without him, no, this year, and six countries without him in our entire relationship. Um, I went to ten Tenerife, 
I have been to Tenerife, but not, we weren't together at the time. Um, I went to Turkey uh, last year. I went to Turkey without him. I went with my friend and what's that got? And I will never, ever understand why people be like, why are you going away without him? Because I'm not going to meet another man. I'm not going to get absolutely shit-faced and completely off my rock. I'm going to experience life because he can't just always travel with me. Like, he can't just be like, okay, I'm going to jump on your schedule and we're going to do everything together. Because he has his own life. In a relationship, yes, you come together and you're a, you're a partnership. And obviously you work towards things like marriage and be creating your own family together and things like that but at the moment we're still very much happy and how do i explain this in a way that won't offend people i am still my own person i travel is my hobby for him he has his own hobbies and he does his own things he has his own friends i have my own friends barely anyway we do our own things and that's so important and you, you need to be comfortable with not being around your man 24-7. Your man cannot become your everything that you can't live without him. You need to be able to live without him. And as someone with attachment issues and personality disorder, a BPD, um, that is an issue, a very big issue. And it's one of the reasons why I really heavily focus on doing things by myself because if things... We have gone through tough times questioning whether we're going to be together or not and things like that and I think if I didn't have my hobbies and the things I love to do, I love travelling, I love taking myself on dates because I know what it is, no one can tell you when you need to wake up, when we need to go somewhere, you have to worry about someone else's belly and when they're hungry, if I want to go on a solo date, I'm going on a solo date because I'm going to feed myself. Like you ain't got to worry about anything else and as a 25 year old i think as much i would love to be like married and settled down at the same time i'm also enjoying my freedom that's what you want to call it like i feel very free in my relationship like, i just booked a holiday and the only reason i said to my man oh, is it an issue is because i don't know if he had anything planned for like us like me and him it's nothing nothing's planned hey, i'll be back in a week by the way um i love it i love being able to just do whatever i want and being in a relationship where it's, it's so freeing to just do anything you don't have to worry about coming home late or if he's out till the ass crack of dawn i don't know but like we don't have to worry about a thing so i genuinely believe that dating yourself in a relationship is hands down super important obviously you've got to date each other but i'm not talking about every day you need to be dating yourself i'm talking once a month solo date because especially if you're living together oh my god if you're living together and you're not taking time for yourself you're gonna get sick of each other once a month if you can once every two weeks take yourself on a date take yourself to a nice restaurant dress up look cute for you and it's equally as important for a man I'm not going to tell my man to not go out of his friends because we're in a relationship. That is not what's going to happen. Equally, I'm also not going to be... This one's fallen a lot quicker. At the end of the day, we are our own people and we have our own hobbies. We like to do things together. But at the same time, how can you come together as a unit and not... My battery's going to die. Fuck's sake. How can you come together as a unit and not... What are you going to talk about at the end of the day? Oh yeah, babe, I went out with my friends and we did this and oh like, yeah, babe, I went to this restaurant and I hang out with these people when, and things like that is so important to have each other's backs with and really sit together and be like, you know what, I love the fact that we can do our own thing and come together and enjoy each other's company. It's, be it's such a magical and beautiful thing to be able to do. Honestly, I absolutely love it. My battery's going to die. So, where was I? So, 
at the end of the day you can have the most incredible relationship but if you're unable to spend time by yourself and looking after you and be like i'm good i'm just enjoying me right now you need to reevaluate where you are in your relationship and how comfortable you are on being on your own i find this really important that if your man is telling you you can't do this you can't do that starting dictating your life you need to be like uh-uh listen that can't be running who are you to be telling no i hate people obviously there is a difference between saying you can't do things and having a conversation of why you're doing something i always say have a conversation with someone or have an open dialogue me and my boyfriend have a very open I can never get anything to have an open dialogue have a conversation why not i always say you should have the absolute fuck my life i just want to film the end of this video so i have an open dialogue have a conversation make sure you're just like you know, i really want to take some time for myself to look after me you know, love me by myself it's not it's not a problem and if it if it comes across as a problem you need to ask why is taking myself out on a solo date such an issue is there no trust like do you not trust that i'm going out by myself because that could be the case that could be the problem he may not trust you she may not trust you and then we need to work on that why don't you trust me have i done something to break your trust do you have past traumas that you need to fix what is it why is it that me going on solo dates or going on solo holidays why is that such an issue and for me i just if they can't answer that question then i think you need to evaluate the relationship that you're in that's just my opinion i'm not telling anyone to break up with anyone and obviously these things they take time it takes a lot of time and comfortability like i've always done my own thing and i think that's like my boyfriend is he always tells me it's one of the reasons that he loves me so much because i'm very like strong-headed independent i do my own thing he was like i love that but like this year my boyfriend's so focused on his stuff and i'm focused on my stuff but we still come together and again have those conversations oh that's going on we then enjoy each other's company it is a possible dynamic in the world i know it's not very traditional or traditional values and i think at the moment this whole idea of these traditional values are being almost shoved down our throats and that's the only only kind of relationship that is plausible and that is um allowed to happen in order for us to be happy human beings i think that's absolute bull because you can be happy and it not follow traditional values there's so many is it reason there are so many what's that word called there are so many examples of people not following tradition and they are happy as ever you know it was traditional to work a nine to five and there are people who own businesses and work from home and you know, they make passive income and they're super happy and there are people who work nine to five so are still super happy so it's never in life it's not a one size fits all there's always going to be variations and if you feel comfortable in your relationship to not solo date or to not look or to not travel by yourself or anything like that by all means you and do whatever makes you happy but i'm more talking about where i'm coming from and almost having it as a relatability to people who also do that because it's very rare that i see people in relationships actually be like i do go on holiday by myself or i do do this by myself and i don't do everything with my partner or my husband and i've even said to my partner i said even when i'm married i'm still gonna if i want to travel and you can't travel then so be it and he's very on board with it and i think at the end of the day it takes a special kind of person to be okay with certain things especially with this whole traditional thing constantly shoved down our throats these days and don't get me wrong there are certain 
aspects of it but we have to remember we're in 2023 tradition today is very different from tradition 15 20 30 years ago even five years ago is so different the world is evolving at a pace that i think we're also unable to keep up with and i think that can be a bit of disheartening to people because they're like oh my god what am i supposed to do now like i just don't know what to do i don't know because i was supposed to be doing this and now i have to do this and i'm trying to keep up with everything that people are telling me to do or that i should be doing and i can't keep up because we're evolving so fast it's okay to do what makes you happy it's okay to do you and navigate your life based on what makes you happy makes you comfortable makes you grow as a person makes you achieve the goals that you want to achieve as a person and i think stop watching someone else's relationship and thinking why are they doing that they're not gonna be happy and it, there are people who you have sat on podcasts and say well these people doing only fans and they're in relationships and they're not truly happy how do you know you don't know them like there are times in my life I'm, I'm not truly happy but that's okay it's okay not to be happy at times it's okay to struggle it's okay to go through things it's okay to not be conventional but what's not okay is to question someone else's trajectory in life and think they must be doing something wrong just because it doesn't fall under tradition and what i was the point in questioning it what is the point there is none and i just want every single person to know that every relationship is going to be different and the times where you need to worry the most is it when he starts controlling you and saying you can't do this and you can't do that i've kicked guys out of my house but like what do you mean yeah I, one time i had a guy tell me i dressed provocative i was literally wearing leggings and oversized t-shirts and i was dressing provocative it's crazy right like don't get me wrong my boyfriend is very traditional but like as in he's got that traditional mindset very old soul put it that way but at the same time he like i'm never gonna let anyone tell me what i can and can't do i'm too damn independent for that shit <laughs> i'm too independent for it and he knows that and even if it comes down to anyone i will tell any guy don't talk to me like that don't treat me like that i'll tell them about themselves no problem and also just learning to take a step back and be like don't force anything in life i've learned that just why are we forcing it there's no need just do you take your relationship one day at a time it's not a problem you don't have to have everything figured out it, it's not a race we've got years and years and as long as every day in your relationship you're making it count and you're making it work and you're happy what does it matter if you're working what does it matter if you're working through the dynamics of your relationship it can take time it's not going to happen overnight you can't just expect your partner to just hop on board with anything that you say and make sure oh they said this so i'm just going to go along with it i love talking about i love waffling clearly so i don't know how, if i'm what we'll see if i make this into a project if i make this into like a podcast that's all i'm saying a podcast um we shall see how it goes i don't know what the future is gonna hold i hope you guys enjoyed this video again like just because your goals are different in relationships or your priorities are slightly different doesn't mean you shouldn't necessarily be in that relationship because can you imagine if i just broke up my boyfriend because he doesn't want to travel as much as i do how does that make any sense it just doesn't it's a week out of a month and then i spend time with him and then i ate it's a great dynamic and like, i want to take myself to a restaurant soon the restaurant is called stk and i really want to go because they have this happy hour menu and the rooftop the clouds have made their appearance and it was supposed to be sunshine today but i would love to take myself have a nice little cheeky glass of rosé why not like, there are other restaurants i would love to go to and be like i went there and i went by myself and when i solo travel i take myself out to restaurants all the time because i have to eat somehow 
so I feel like it's such a confidence builder as well even if you're not in a relationship I think it's such a huge confidence builder because you're learning to do things on your own you're learning you actually don't need anyone to want someone and have someone is great but you don't need them you don't need that man you don't need that girl you don't need no one but it's a beautiful connection to have that and again no relationship is perfect no unit is perfect however you work on things and you build it to a point where you're you're happy and then you build and work towards the next thing that makes you happy it's okay to explore different ways of different dynamics even i know it's going to be on a relationship tangent but i really want to iterate that it's okay to solo travel in a relationship and it's okay to spend time by yourself in a relationship even when you're married even all of these things it is okay anyway i'm going to end the episode here because i'm just going off on a tangent i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something and can open a bit of a dialogue to your partner and if you don't have a partner open a bit of open your mind a bit of how you want your next relationship to be if you so want one anyways i'm going to end this episode here i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode i'm putting these out i will put vlogs in here and there but yeah i hope you guys enjoy bye guys side with a real one. Oh my mama and god you the real thing